everybody. So, so Jim, uh, what's the uh, topic for your speech? Today? Speaking disasters. All right. How long is that going to last? It'll be five to seven. Five to seven. Okay. Mr. Slim, Jim. Excellent. I, I do need an evaluator. Okay. Would anybody like to evaluate Ramesh? Would could you evaluate him? I need to leave by twelve forty-five. By when? Twelve forty-five. Yeah. No problem. We're gonna take care. Don't be problem. Uh, Don. Yes. Would it be possible that maybe we could have him give me an evaluation, then we could do table topics with that? Fine with just me. sort of make stuff work out. Would that be an acceptable way to do things? Fine if it's fine with the Toastmaster. That's fine with me. Mr. Toastmaster. Check with That's me first. I right. Right. Oh, just oh, my, just I, 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 yes, you're right. Don't make me have to get up. No, sir. Mm -hmm. I was, I was not, <laughs> I remember last time, and that was not good. That was not good. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Toastmasters meeting. Now remember, Toastmasters is about a lot of things, but one of the things that Toastmasters is about is about giving speeches. And speeches are wonderful and beautiful things. You agree to give a speech, you write a speech, you practice a speech, you show up to deliver a speech, and then bad things happen. Well, no, not always, of course not, okay? But it is always possible that as you prepare to give a speech, or perhaps as you're giving a speech, Something horrific could happen. Uh, what's what's horrible? Well, uh, you know, it takes on many different forms, right? There could be a fire alarm halfway through your <laughs> speech. Okay, that's always a possibility or something like that. Uh, there could be like an odor in the room that causes everyone to start coughing and leave or something like that. Um, I guess somebody could stand up and say, I don't like you, Mr. President, and start throwing things. <laughs> you know, who knows? Lots of different things could happen. But, you know, arguably, I would say that a speaking disaster is anything that occurs during a speech that causes you to lose connection with your audience. So obviously we don't want those things to happen. But because we don't control the world, it's always possible that during a speech that we're giving, maybe in a Toastmasters club or maybe outside of the club, something bad could happen. So what are we supposed to do as a speaker to prepare for the unpreparable? Good question. Well, the first thing that we want to do ironically, is be prepared. If nothing else, that's as much a mental preparation as anything else. As you're giving a speech, understand that things can happen. Right? If you don't have that fundamental understanding, then if something happens, it could throw you off your game. You could just lose it. <laughs> the fire alarm will stop now, because I'm giving a speech. You can talk to the fire alarm all you want. It's not going to stop. Okay? The second thing that you have to do is you have to have the right attitude. Okay? And the right attitude really comes down to saying, listen, you know, I'm living this life, I'm going through this life, and I'm controlling the things that I can possibly control, but I fully understand that there are things that are outside of my control. And whatever this event is, is definitely one of them. So I need to be flexible and I need to deal with what's actually happening. So a low-key approach to whatever it is, and don't lose control. Don't start tearing your hair out. Don't start yelling at somebody. Understand that some sort of event is occurring that's interrupting or disrupting your speech, and then you just need to find a way to actually deal with it, okay? It, it's an inherent in all of us that probably if something comes along and, and interrupts our speech, we are gonna take on the persona of being embarrassed, right? We probably didn't cause whatever it was, but we've lost contact with our audience. Something's going on that's distracting them, we're going to start to feel embarrassed that this went on, and there's probably no reason for that because it wasn't, it's out of our hands. Okay? So, what do we need to do when the worst thing happens while well, we're giving a speech? Well, okay. So, first is what we like to call grace under pressure. So, the most important thing that you need to understand is when you're giving a speech and something starts to spin out of control that's under your, that's beyond your ability to control it. What you need to do is that you have to remember what your audience is going to remember about your speech. Okay? They're not necessarily going to remember you know, what you say when something starts to happen. What they're really going to remember is what you do. The audience, long after your speech is over, is going to remember how you handled the situation. If you can keep that upstairs here, it's going to help give you the strength to deal with what's happening, okay? And if you're dealing with the situation, if you're handling whatever it is that's interrupting your speech, the most beautiful and wonderful thing in the world is going to happen. 
your audience is probably going to rally behind you. They're going to be supportive. They want you to be successful here. Okay? You can use a disaster to your advantage. You can use this unplanned event as a way to better connect with your audience. I mean, you couldn't have asked for a better chance for you to be able to step to the side of your speech and have a talk with your audience and go, well, <laughs> that was rather unplanned. How shall we deal with this together, okay? Uh, you don't want to get flustered. You don't want to suddenly wrap up your speech because your audience will see that. And once again, that's what they'll actually remember. Instead, you want to respond to what's going on. If you have a fire alarm going off, talk about the fire alarm going off. If you lose power, speak up and say, well, I guess I now have to yell at you for the next half hour. <laughs> but deal with what's actually going on, okay? You work with your audience to do this. And the final point I want to share with you is, look, things do happen. And it's a very instinctive thing on our part to find somebody to blame for the thing that happened. But I'd ask that you not do that. Okay? And maybe it is somebody's fault. Maybe somebody screwed up and turned off the lights halfway through your presentation. Don't blame anybody. In fact, take responsibility for whatever happened yourself. Take responsibility for the fire alarm. Take responsibility for the power loss. Take responsibility for the strange high-pitched noise that's operating in the room. Whatever the story is. And I say, I apologize. Somehow I must have caused that. Let's see what we can do to work together to get around whatever this issue is. And the beautiful part about that is that your audience will respond to that. Your audience understands the challenges you're with. And the audience is going to remember that you gave a great speech and that you showed grace under pressure. Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you, Jim. Job very well Thank done. Thank you, sir. All right. So I was thinking maybe Ramesh will come and get his value.